Did you know that NCLEX is changing? Now, this might not be for you, but NCLEX is changing and you need to pass now or be prepared for the changes. And I'm doing a series specifically to help you be prepared for the changes or more importantly, pass the NCLEX now. So let's just go over exactly how NCLEX is changing in this new segment. We are going to look at the scoring rules that will be present for the next generation NCLEX. And this is where I get a lot of questions about partial scoring. And so we will see that there are going to be three major ways that the questions will be scored. And they are titled the zero one scoring rule, the plus minus scoring rule, and the rationale scoring rule. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on each one of them, but just again, a reminder, our transitionary date is going to be April 1st, 2023. Now, those of you who are currently taking NCLEX in 2022 may have already begun to see some different question presentations. That is to be expected. That's beta testing. That's uh, trying out this new uh, implementation. So let's get into it. Let's start with the zero one scoring. I really like this scoring because the rules are simply this. You earn one point for each correct answer. And if you get an answer incorrect, you don't get any points for it. So the amount of points you get are based off of how many right answers you can choose. And so I really like the scoring because essentially there's no penalty if you get a question incorrect. However, things can never be so simple because some questions will have this wonderful rule attached to them, but the next scoring rule is where it's going to matter. And so the plus minus scoring rule, what happens is you earn one point for each correct answer. However, one point is subtracted for each incorrect answer. So here, there are questions that you will be penalized for if you don't get the option correct. And so the total score is um, the positive plus the negative points together. And this makes sense because in our zero one scoring rule, you can essentially pick all the options and you would only get credited for the ones you got right. So there is no, uh, there is no really failure here because you don't get penalized if you get something wrong. But here, you have to make sure that only the correct answers are chosen. Because if you don't choose the right answer, it's going to take away from the ones that you did get right. So taking the next generation NCLEX is going to be intentional. And the more I think you know about the questions, in the presentation and the scoring, the more confident you will feel in, in if you are doing the correct action, okay? Now, the, the final scoring that I wanna go over is the rationale scoring. And this essentially is when um, you have to get both item responses correct. And this is what you're going to see when you have a, a cause and effect relationship. So you have to understand why uh, X causes Y. And I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to show you some examples of this in a second here. But let us look at what it will be like for the first, uh, the first scoring rule that we talked about. This is a multiple choice item. And so that means that in this question set, you will be choosing uh, more than one option. So uh, say for the first action, and we don't have the full scenario here, but more importantly, we're just focusing on how this candidate answered the questions that were in front of them. So um, when it comes to the first question presented, which of the following actions should the nurse take? This particular candidate did pick the correct action placing a nasal cannula on the client for oxygen administration. Perfect. So here we go. They got one point for that. 
because this is a zero one scoring rule. Now on the second question presentation, there is um, an incorrect response that was chosen, right? So this is just a hypothetical. The candidate chooses an incorrect response, but because this is a zero one scoring rule, we don't have to take away any points and we just add up the ones that were correct. Wouldn't it be nice if the entire test was like this, All right? Uh, so this is the example of a multiple choice with a plus one scoring rule. Now the plus or minus scoring rule will uh, present in this way. You will have a select all that apply question. And here this candidate was very uh, intentional about their answers. You see that they did not just go ahead and select everything. They didn't just select all the options. They read them, they thought about them. They were able to get the first, well, the three actually that were correct. So they were able to get the three that were correct. And had they just gotten the three that were correct, they would have gotten the total amount of points allocated for this question. However, one incorrect response was chosen. And so that one point took away a positive point that they had already achieved. So although there are three correct answers here, the total points are only going to be two for this candidate. And this is kind of, you know, you hate to see this because with select all that apply questions, they already require a great deal of critical thinking. They already require you to kind of slow down and take your time. And so when you are able to achieve the right answers, seeing a point taken away because of the incorrect response, it's, it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. But this is to discourage nursing students from just picking all of the answers. Okay, because you can actually end up dropping below the passing standard if you do that. And the computer adaptive exam is going to pick up very quickly whether or not you will successfully clear the benchmark of the NCLEX next generation version. All right. So again, things to think about, things to think about as you are preparing for your current exam or if you are preparing for the next generation NCLEX. Either way, we're going to be talking about it here at Remar Review. Now, this is an example of the rationale scoring where you actually have a pair of closed style questions or, or drop down questions. And so um, there is a relation, there's a relationship here. All right. And so it will be the client is at highest risk for developing, uh, you know, this condition as evidenced by this condition or the patient has signs of this, which could be potentially this condition. So it's a relationship question and you have to get both options right in order to get uh, the, 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 the point allocated for the question. So there's really uh, no uh, partial scoring here because you have to get both right. So if you get the first one right and the second one wrong, that's still zero. If you get the first one right and the second one wrong, that's still zero. You have to see the relationship. You have to understand the rationale of the sentence. And so these are the scoring options that you will have to know about. And again, this is happening very quickly. 2023 is already upon us. We're in the second half of 2022 people. So the zero one scoring, the plus minus, you, you need to know the question sets that are attached to them. You need to know how your students are gonna be scored, how to prepare them to think when they are presented with these questions. And I, I'm, I'm very excited about it because this is gonna require everyone at every level to increase their familiarity with the test plan, increase their familiarity with the curriculum that they're actually teaching. And let's get these nurses licensed that is the goal here. I'm encouraging you guys to pass now or be prepared for this next generation NCLEX. But right now is the best time and opportunity to take the current offering of the NCLEX exam. If you're able to test this year, do it, okay? And I will show you how to prepare for your boards and pass your NCLEX in the next four to six weeks. Uh, and sometimes less, you know, there's a girl that did it and she did it in three weeks. So it can be done with the NCLEX virtual trainer, but my whole platform right now is encouraging you to get your license ASAP or begin to learn about these changes, begin to, to embrace these new changes, which will be a challenge 
which will be a challenge for nursing students. But at the end of the day, no matter what, you can, you will, and you must pass NCLEX with God. It is possible, guys. Thank you.